Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pepita milk. Pepita milk is pumpkin seed milk. Pepitas are pumpkin seeds, and the term pepita refers to pumpkin seeds without the shell, which is why I say pepitas instead of pumpkin seeds. Uh, so I've got two cups of pepitas that I soaked. Um, and anytime you're soaking nuts or seeds, you want to soak them for eight to 10 hours to start the sprouting process and also to pull out tannins, which are enzyme inhibitors um, that cause inflammation in your body. So anytime you soak nuts or seeds, it helps to pull out those tannins, tannins and starts the sprouting process, which makes the nutrients more bioavailable for your body to digest. So I've soaked these and these actually, I bought sprouted pumpkin seeds, so you don't need to soak them as long. I still did soak them as long, um, mainly because I didn't make the milk when I had originally planned. So right here, I've got six cups of filtered water. Um, I think it's important to use filtered water mainly because there are things in our water supply that is not awesome or that are not awesome um, mainly fluoride and chlorine but there's also pharmaceuticals and all types of random stuff that gets into the water supply so I highly recommend filtering your water I like to use this zero water filter these are pretty handy dandy and they will take out the contaminants so I've got my pumpkin seeds in here. I've got my water in here. That looks like a lot of pumpkin seeds. It was only two cups and it's, you see they swelled. So now it's looking more like three cups and I've got six cups of water in here. And I'm also going to add some dates to add some sweetness. We're going to add, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We'll go one more. I like to do things in threes. So 13, I mean 12. That's right. So we got 12 dates in there. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of salt. Literally just a pinch. Get my fingers in there. All right. Pinch of salt. That's just going to enhance the flavor. You can add vanilla or chocolate powder if you're trying to flavor your milk. You can also add like strawberries if you want to do strawberry milk. I am just keeping this plain. I'm just going to do slightly sweetened pepita milk. So I've got my pepitas, I got my dates, got a little bit of salt, and I got my water in here. So we're going to blend this. I'm going to blend this, start on low, turn it up to high. We're going to blend it for about 90 seconds. And then we're going to strain it through this nut milk bag. So these you can buy online or at health food stores. They're essentially these bags that filter out the pulp when you're making nut milk. Um, and a lot of times I will stick mine in here and just pour some boiling water over it if I need to sanitize it. Um, I already sanitized this one, so it's good to go. And this we're just gonna blend on low and start to, and turn it to high. Like we're losing some pepita milk. So I'm going to put this top on here a little bit tighter. I'm not sure how that happened. But there it is. All right, so we've got our pepita milk blended. I've got my nut milk bag in here. I turned it inside out. I found that the nut milk bags tend to work a little bit better and it uh, is a little bit easier to filter when you turn it inside out. So I got mine inside out. Looks like we've got plenty of milk in here. I'll put this in the sink. And so once your milk is blended, you just need to strain it. You want to make sure your hands are very clean or you use gloves. I just wash my hands very thoroughly. The main reason um, you want to have very clean hands is to prevent any bacteria from getting into your milk um, because it will go bad faster if there is bacteria in there. 
and I'm going to lift this up, just stick this on the blender. Hopefully it won't fall and make a huge mess. All right. Got a little blender shelf. So we've got all our milk in the bag and now we're going to strain it. So we're just going to, I'm just going to cinch it and then squeeze the top. And then at that point, you're just going to milk those pepitas. So this is probably as close as you'll get to milking a cow being plant-based. All right, and we're just going to fast forward through this part. We are squeezing the nut milk bag and extracting the pepita milk. This is also a great forearm workout. It takes about two minutes and it's super easy, but it does take a good amount of grip strength. So. Get out there and milk those pepitas. Once you've got it all filtered, you just want to pour it. I like to keep it in a few containers. I like these small ones because you can kind of just have it as like a grab and go. If like you need to run out of the house and you want some milk um, that is not terrible and doesn't have dairy, um, then it's a good idea to just have these ready to go. Um, a lot of times the like little four ounce ones I'll just take and you know if I'm buying like coffee or tea out somewhere you just got the these little guys ready to go you can just get some coffee pour some milk in there um, you can also pour a little maple syrup um, in there to sweeten it if you're looking to sweeten your coffee um, but uh, there's already some dates in here so it's a little bit sweet Pepita milk itself kind of naturally is not very sweet. Um, so I find if you add some dates or maple syrup, it um, makes it taste really good. So, Mmm, delicious. All right. And this was what I wanted to show you. Got our lovely pepita milk. You make pepita milk at home, super easy to make. Pepitas are incredibly nutritious and also very easy to find, sustainable, and usually pretty cheap. So I really think pepita milk is just a great option if you're dairy-free. It is very nutritious and tastes delicious, nice and creamy, and yeah, really just all around wonderful. So if you want to make pepita milk at home, um, you basically just blend pepitas and water. If you want to add some dates, you can. Um, I have this recipe in my Pepita Power Cookbook, as well as uh, a bunch of other recipes. I have a like a pepita taco meat recipe that um, I think is one of the best vegan taco recipes ever. Um, so if you want to check that out, that's in my Pepita Power Cookbook. But Thank you for joining me. Thanks for uh, making this milk with me and cheers. I hope you have a wonderful day.